Hey guys, it's Greek Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an interior of this house. If you haven't seen my uh, latest video of how to build the exterior of this house, then I recommend you go check it out. As you can see, we did nothing in the interior from last video because I did not want the video to go too long. And I'm sorry about how late I am with this video. But if we do get 10 likes on this video, I will knock down this amazing wall and show you what's behind it. And it's pretty cool, so you better you better make this video get 10 likes. But anyways, let's get into the juicy part. So, the reason I have this huge dirt block underneath is because in flat worlds, there's not enough layers to make the, as big as a basement as I would like. And first thing you're going to want to do... As you can see, what I've already done is just put slabs um, on the floor so we'll have more room in the basement instead of putting blocks. And that also for survival, that will save some materials for you. And then you want to do the same thing for the ceiling if you want. If you want. I mean, it looks pretty good. But I'm not going to be doing that. Because I just like the roof I have now. Okay. But the first things we're going to need. Is a. Cauldron. Uh, a spruce fence. Or really any fence. That you think kind of looks like a branch of a tree. Leaves. Uh, I'll just do oak wood. I mean oak leaves. Because that's the easiest to get. And then glowstone. So what you're first going to want to do is just break each corner. And just put glowstone in each corner. Once you do that, just put a cauldron on top of it. On each one. Then grab your fence. Whichever one you decided to. And just place them on here. You don't try placing it on top of here because you can't do it. You can crouch and put it on there, or you can just place it on the wall, and that'll work. But it all looks the same. Then just push your then blah. Then just put your leaves on top, and there you go. You got like these little trees in the corners. Now what we're gonna do is make like a a little family area or whatever you would want to call it. So you can get any stairs that you really think looks like a couch. I'm just going to do end stone brick stairs because I think that looks pretty close to a couch with like cushions and stuff. Then you're going to want to make the TV. So I'm going to use this as a stand for the TV. And then also you're going to need the same kind of block but in slabs, like same material. And then you're going to need some black concrete. And if you want to make it look like the TV is on, just grab a painting like so so first we're going to leave one thing behind this is not going to be even or actually never mind it will it won't look even at least and what you want to do is just place two there place one there like so and just do this then remove the full block and put a slab back and there you go then with the black concrete, you're just going to want to do that. And see how the painting will look that big? Just place a block underneath so that we get a bigger one. So it looks like we're watching like Kung Fu or something. And um, now that looks pretty good. But we can put something in the back. So all you're going to want to do is just get some smooth stone slabs and just a uh, block put the blocks on each side of the black black at the back of the couch and just do that then we're going to put flowers on the back so grab uh you're going to need three what three flower pots and then three different flowers or how many different flowers you want to have i'm just going to do two i'll just do the blue flower and the poppy and 
You can do more pots if you want or less. But I'm just gonna do this many just because I want to. Um, there you go. You got your little family room or whatever you want to call it. Now we'll make a kitchen. So for the kitchen, what you're gonna need is uh, whatever kind of seat you want. So I'm gonna do uh, oak wood stairs and any fence you want. I'm gonna do oak fence and whatever color carpet you want. So there's actually a wide variety. So you could really do any color you want. You could actually mix colors and do multiple colors. But I'm just gonna do white to keep it simple. So we're gonna do it kind of close to the door. And we're just gonna do four seats. And just place the carpets on top of there, like so. Oops, didn't mean to put that. And there you go, you got your little your seating area. Now, you see, if you're a gamer like me, you know you need your you need your um your desk area. So we're gonna need to get a seat again, so I'll just do oak wood stairs. And we'll use uh polished andesite and polished andesite slabs again. And all you're gonna need is another painting. So I'll just grab that. And you can really do this wherever you want. I'm just gonna do it right here. Just put that there, there, and there. Or if you'd want to, you could do this. Honestly, I think that looks better. And then just surround it like this so you can get a one thing, like a one painting one block painting so it's not too big because you don't want a big painting because it doesn't look realistic there you go you got your little seat actually I think I'm gonna change the seats because it's too close to the to the floor it looks just blended in so we'll just do that we'll keep the fence though the fence looks good alright there we go I think that looks a bit better now maybe we'll add a bit more paintings around maybe we'll put a little Um, what just happened? Can I not place a, oh wait, there's a carpet there. Silly me. Here, I want a too tall painting. So all I'll do is this. Boom. I got that little guy. Let's just say that's Billy, our family member. He passed away, sadly. And then, apparently we're going to have a big painting. I don't think I want a big painting, though, so. What we'll do is just do that. And I don't want a painting that big either. Can we get a three wide? No, we can't. Alright, I'll just do another two wide then. Just do that. That looks good. And that's my, uh, this is my uncle apparently. He's, uh, he's Jimmy. He's a secret spy. What's up, Jimmy? Alright. Now that Jimmy's gone. Holy crap, that's big. Yeah, it, look, it would look too ugly. Actually, I think I want that painting. There we go. Just for the meme. We have that pig right there. That's a bit big, but, but that's okay. Like, sometimes you need big paintings. Now, I think this looks pretty good. If you want to add anything else, you can. But in my opinion, it's... Oh, wait. I missed the most important part. You need a keyboard. So just get the weighted pressure plate put there. You got your keyboard for this. Got to add the most important part. Anyways, I think this looks pretty good for the upstairs. Now we're gonna do the downstairs. Um, so I'm gonna make mine start right here. I've already got it dug out. I don't. This is not the correct dimensions though. So <sighs> we'll see what that is. And all you're gonna want to do is just make the stairs going down. All right. I don't know how we're gonna do this. There we go. Just do that. We'll make two wide stairs. Just going all the way down. And we'll go down one more. Pretty tall ceiling for a basement. Alright, now that we've done that, what we're going to want to do is just Actually, we'll do that later. We're gonna grab logs. 
and you're just gonna wanna put them all around here and this is actually under the door so what we'll do is we'll do that and then we gotta replace the door whoops replace the door that looks kind of cool got a log right there and just place your logs all the way around don't have to do the corners if you don't want to waste logs just go oh whoops do that now what we're gonna want to do is just grab stone bricks and just fill it in and again you don't have to do the corners if you don't want to waste materials and you already have lighting from from uh, upstairs glowstone so that's pretty nice We're just going to go around like this. And you could you could actually use oak wood if you want for the walls and do um stone bricks for the floor if you really wanted to just to change it up. And then once we finish this for the final layer, what we're going to want to do is just put logs again just so it's not the same wall same old boring wall the whole time no one wants to just stir at stone bricks oh whoops I do that and then we're gonna grab slabs or you could do blocks doesn't matter we're just gonna do this cuz easier to get There we go. So let's do this all the way around. And I'll see you back once I finish this floor. Okay, now that we're done with the floors, um, you're gonna wanna get some barrels. Um, this is for decoration, or if you have a lot of storage, I guess you could use it for storage. Um, and you're just gonna wanna place some all against this wall just not right under this actually no we do want to put it under the stairs whoops my bad just do that and you have a little area right there so you can just cover that up with slabs if you want to and then you grab your stairs just so this makes it look less ugly and there you go and even if you wanted to, you could do this. I actually think that looks pretty good. Eh. Uh, never mind. I'll get rid of that. That actually doesn't look very good. I lied. Alright. <clears throat> Anyways, next we're going to make some shelving. And the way we're going to do that is by grabbing cobblestone walls. And grabbing oak wood slabs. And then your chest, obviously, for storage. Alright. And then you're going to want to just go all the way to the top. Then skip two. Skip two. Skip two. And skip two. And what you're going to want to do is place your bottom chest. Whoops. Okay. And then do your slabs right there, just leaving a little gap so your chest can still open. And put, then place these chests right there. There you go. Then you're going to want to start your next one. I don't know if these proportions are right for this, but we'll see. And just do this. I'm just going to do slabs first. Okay, there we go. Just do that and place all your chest. There you go. And then in this little corner right here, we can put our under chest. And then there you go. Then this wall will be for furnaces and blast furnaces and smokers. 
and what you're gonna want to do is just basically remove this whole wall except for the last um the last like block i guess at the end whoops just replace that and then you can do like a pattern like this or like that all the way around but just to keep it more organized what i'm going to do is just place uh furnaces on one row smokers on the other and blast furnaces on top there we go and your wall should look like that and there we go now we need some lighting so normally it'd be pretty dark down here so what we're gonna want to do is just get torches just because they're most least expensive and since we did slabs we can actually place torches under the slabs but I can't really do that since I don't have another layer to put it so if this looks like enough light for you, you can keep it like that. But, you're like, what about the crafting table and the brewing stand and all that? Well, we're going to get to that now. So what we're going to do next is just get some smooth stone. Carpets. Or not carpets, pressure plates. What am I thinking? Pressure, oops. Pressure plates. And a crafting table. And then a brewing stand. Oops. And then an anvil. There we go. And what we're gonna want to do for this is just measure the middle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the middle. So let's base it off of that. So if we just do this, then what we can do is put your brewing stand there. Put that there, and that there, whoops, you can put your pressure plate on top, just so it looks cool, and you just place that in between, make it look like a little table, and there you go, you got your little center, or whatever, but, if you want an enchantment room, you can do that too. So let's remove this, and let's get some bookshelves, and an enchantment table, obviously. Okay. So what we're going to need to do for this is place it down one two three four five and move over like one and then just bookshelves around it like so i think too high is max i'm pretty sure and if you do that you can just place like your anvil underneath and then place this underneath this underneath so it saves a bit more storage or if you think that looks ugly which in my opinion it kind of does then you can just make like a little table right here you know just put your stuff there crafting table all that jazz and yeah so this is the end of the video I hope you guys like this build if so i hope you guys build it and yeah see you guys next time bye